various epithets have been used to describe the hill people and nowhere are these qualities more exemplified than in the way they treat the security forces who have been sent to quell their right to protest in the outskirts of Darling itself. Okay. We were cleaning up our monastery when a young policeman poked his head inside and asked if we could provide him with a cup of tea. He was young. We felt like he was one of our own sons, most of whom are serving in the army. One of us said, yes, we would. He brought with him three other friends, all policemen. We served them all tea. They were thankful and left. Later, they came back to us if we could make them lunch. We said, okay. When they came for lunch, they brought with them 10 others. We didn't know what to do as we had only prepared lunch for the three of them. So we quickly kneaded the dough and gave them all rotis to eat. Later, some of our youth showed them around and took them to the sites of tourist interest nearby. The next day, we heard these policemen were involved in tear gas shelling at nearby Goon. That evening, almost all of them avoided meeting our eyes as we served them tea. Perhaps they were embarrassed at what they had been made to do. Yesterday, as, this, as these policemen evacuated our village, the officer came to our monastery, offered his prayers and left without saying a word. Today, as we were cleaning up the community hall where they had stayed, we found a note with just one word written on it. Sorry. Sorry.